are your batteries always dead when it seems like you need them the most? Try plugging in a charger, but you don't have the right one. How about just replace the batteries with new ones? Can we do that? Why not? We'll try these. Hmm. There we go. That did not work. Looks like you need a charger. Want me to show you how to make one? All right. Let's get started. So today I'm going to show you how I made a charging base for this flashlight. I'm going to mainly focus on using recycled electronic parts that I kind of have laying around here and there and also a 3D printer. So I'm going to design, model, print, assemble, and wire everything needed for a charging base. So without further ado, let's get started. Shall we? All right, so as far as design goes, I want something that I can just set the flashlight on. So I want it to be aesthetically pleasing, functional, and easy to use. First thing we need to do is get out some paper, get all our ideas from brains out on the paper, and from there we can make a choice on what type of design we want to go with. Let's go ahead and start drawing, shall we? So when it comes to designing something new, yeah, you need to get all the information you can on what you're thinking on the paper. It's not being perfect, but kind of get ideas and shapes on how you would want it to look. And once you have them all laid out in every possible way that you can think of, then you go through them and pick one that you like the most. And in my case, I'm gonna pick number eight here. I'm gonna kinda lay out on some key features I'm gonna have, like where the charging connection is gonna be, and also uh, where it's going to hook into. Now once we have a general idea of the shape we want it to be, now we're going to move another step forward and make another drawing with a little bit more detail. Uh, you'll see a pattern going here. Now we kind of start simple and we're going to progressively lay out more and more detail as we go. And this is extremely important once we get to the computer automated design and the CAD work, this way we're not designing a bunch of parts and have to go back because we don't like what it looks like. So if we do everything up front and design it on paper, it's way easier once you start designing it on a computer. And speaking of the computer, once you're happy with what your drawing looks like, then it's going to be time to move on to the computer software and start doing some 3D design. So the program that I use for this project is SolidWorks. I use some other 3D CAD modeling programs before uh, and I always find myself going back to SolidWorks. I just like the layout of it, I love the views that it gives you as you're modeling, and it's just overall easy to use. Now you'll notice that I keep going back and forth back to the drawings that we did previously. And the reason I'm doing this is that I always reference the drawings as I model. So I make sure I match uh, kind of what I was actually had in my head at the beginning. Now if you want to know more about 3D modeling, the ins and outs of how to use SolidWorks or even Creo, you know, put it in the comments below, let me know if this interests you and I'll see what I can do. All right, so now that we got all of our modeling finished up, we have our bottle split into two pieces. Now we gotta take those two pieces, save them as an STL file, and we'll use this file to actually do the 3D printing from. Twenty-four hours later. Do, do, 
Alright, so my initial plan was for the electrodes to connect to the flashlight to charge a battery. I was going to take some bolts and machine them uh, smooth and then drill the core out and then have some springs in here and set them down. And then the ends would poke through here, which would give us my spring effect contact when I set the flashlight on. But that's a lot of work and I, I happened to stumble across uh, an old USB 12 volt car charger that I had and I was looking at the end here I'm like huh, I could just use that. So I already had one and so I took the end out and as you can see fits perfectly so my plan now is I got another one I'm gonna take this apart get the end off of this and a couple springs to go in here these little electro dealies will stick through here make contact to the battery and charge it so I think that's the route I'm gonna go with that part and kind of ixnay on the bolts this way i can eliminate a lot of machining and then i can just repurpose some old car chargers that don't really work so here is my charging unit so i have a micro usb that's gonna charge the battery but i also have a five volt usb output here so i could use to charge phones or something like that uh, it wasn't my first intention to be able to use this, but I had this, it was free, uh, another repurpose. So instead of buying a bunch of stuff, I'm just kind of repurposing what I have laying around. So here's the design I had for it. So I got the hole here for the USB, and then on the top part, I have this little notch for the micro USB. And when they go together, I get the stacked micro and regular USB. And to hold it in, I designed this little shelf. I don't know if you can see that. So that the board of this will sit right on that shelf. The big USB will stick out like this. So when I put it in there, it kind of snaps in and you push it forward to lock it in. Maybe. There. Okay. So it's a tight fit. Uh, I'm actually kind of shocked that it worked out so well in the first print, but hey, when you're good, you're good. And then when this goes on, the four screws connect it, and then I have my input and output. So far, that's where we're at. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is uh, start getting the board wired up and start assembling and finish. I know you're kind of thinking, so why is this one not the same color as the one you've seen previously? Well, it's kind of a funny story, but I ended up completely trashing and ruining the first print uh, thanks to my dumb actions of trying to make it look better. So I was trying to clean it up, sand it, and I used a heat gun to kind of get the shine back. Well, I completely distorted it, and bubbled it, and blistered. It, it, it just it ended up being completely useless. So I had this orange filament laid around and I decided to go ahead and use it and it turned out awesome. I loved the way it looked. 
And the best part is, is it's translucent. So there's a light on the power board and when it's plugged into power, it's actually gonna light up. So you'll actually be able to see that light. So it, it kind of worked out in the end. Go figure. And a quick word of advice, before you put anything together that involves electricity, uh, make sure that the poles match what your battery is. So I went ahead and took it back apart just to double check. It, uh, I did have it right, but yeah, it, it probably would have been bad if I had a Yes, there you go. All right, thanks everyone for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed me taking you down this long and lovely road of design. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. And until next time, stay smart.